Let's jump over to that first the story and get right into it. Joe Biden, be quiet. I am, I am offended <laughs> that Joe Biden started talking right as I'm trying to start on, this segment. Man. We're going to mute that site. Get out of here, Joe. CNBC host suggests nationwide vaccine mandate have the military run it. I, I really love this story from The Hill because Jim Cramer didn't suggest anything. He demanded it. He didn't say, maybe we, uh, you know, we have a national vaccine mandate. No, he was literally like, this is on the White House and Biden. Everyone's got to do this. And if you don't, you go to court and try and prove your objector status. And it's, it's rather crazy. I'll jump right to this. We have this tweet here with this video. I'll jump right to the end. So you can hear him get to the having the military run this part thing. Nobody wants to be the bad guy. He's the bad guy. Uh-huh. But back then, anyone who refused to get vaccinated would get ratted out immediately because we knew that person could hurt other people. The common wheel was a, a common wheel. Now we're engaged in a similar struggle with COVID. What, what was that? Is he he needs to breathe. No, I can't. It, 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 the way he's slurring his speech, yeah. I'm actually wondering. Massive. Throat and neck the tension. No. Oh, that's true, too. That's yeah, true, too. Let's, 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 yeah, let's, 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 let's play it. But Eisenhower would be aghast. We have immunocompromised people who are incubators for every variant to come, walking around lawfully unvaccinated. That's psychotic. We have companies that have tried hard to get people vaccinated and now backing down. We have governors who want to be president by grandstanding on a foolish state's right issue, the right to get sick and get other people sick. So it's time to admit that we have to go to war against COVID. Require vaccination universally. Have the military run it. If you don't want to get vaccinated, you better be ready to prove your conscientious objector status in court. You know, I got to say, uh, he's he's slurring pretty crazy. Yeah, like that. I I mean, totally as an aside, like I'm not trying to say this disrespectfully, that that weird circular wheel. What was he saying? I don't know. know. Compared to two years ago that you're totally right. I haven't watched him in a long time. And he's he's reading a teleprompter. (laughs) But the way he said object or it, it. I feel like I, I, I gotta drunk, be honest. I, yeah. honest. I thought he was having a stroke. Mm-hmm. No joke, no joke. Like the way he started slurring and like losing it. But anyway, to the point of his politics, well, a bunch of crazy stuff. Have the military run it. Oh, just throwing it out there. We just have the military take control and go marshal. Like it's crazy the casualty that he uh, spoke with there. Yeah. And and it makes absolutely no sense. By the way, like how, segregating between unvaccinated and vaccinated when we know that there are several studies showing that the vaccine efficacy lasts about six, seven months against infection. And so after about six, seven months, a vaccinated person is just as likely to get infected and transmit COVID as an infected person, as, a, as an unvaccinated person. Several studies show this. So mandating the stuff makes no sense because then you're going to have a group of people that has the same level of infection and transmission rates after a certain amount of months. So it's, it's just a matter of buying us time. So, uh, yeah. So, um, I mean, obviously, I've been talking about boosters for a long time. Mm-hmm. And it's weird because you have like there was a period where if you said the efficacy was waning, you'd get banned on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah. D- Dave Rubin being a great example where he tweeted out, you know, it, it's not working the way they promised. And sooner or later, they're going to call for boosters. And he got suspended on Twitter for it. And now, sure enough. Yeah. They've already been saying, and I think in Israel, they're on what, a number, shot number five. Yeah, is shot it, number five, which for, needs to be mandated a part of their digital vaccine huh, yeah. passport social credit score system that they implemented in that country, which is absolutely absurd. Mm. 